Thank you very much, Minister, for the opportunity once again. Uh, Mozambique, being our friends, being our neighbor, mm. uh, our one of the biggest trading partners, again, the president is here to pay a, for a state visit. What significance does this uh, mean for, for the two countries? Um, His Excellency, uh, President Zuma and Mrs. Zuma, uh, will be paying a state visit to Mozambique as per the invitation of His Excellency President Musi and Mrs. Musi. Oh, 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 oh. You would recall that a few months ago we were here for the inauguration of the new President of Mozambique. <laughs> president Zuma will be accompanied by about five ministers, including myself, this is quite a historic visit once again for us, but also quite an honor for our president, for our government, for our people, that President Zuma is the very first guest of the new president of Mozambique. So for us, this reaffirms and recommits Mozambique, South Africa, to this partnership that has stood the test of time. The historic relations that we had had during the struggle for freedom and decolonization that continued with the President News's predecessors, that we are not only keeping the tradition of the former liberation movements of partnership, of solidarity of working together to, to improve the economic lot of our people. But the partnership is now going stronger and getting intensified in the economic uh, partnerships as we integrate the economies of, uh, of our two countries, of our region in SADC and the continent of Africa. This visit comes at the most crucial time. Uh, like I said, this President Zuma will be amongst the very first uh, international or uh, heads of states to be invited here. Uh, it comes right on the eve of us hosting the um, summit, the AU summit uh, in South Africa in a few weeks' time. Minister, the, the, the economic relations is undoubtedly very high uh, between the two countries. But as, as uh, we, we got here a day earlier, so we got the chance to, to go around. Um, I think without fail, Minister, one of the, 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 the big concerns for Mozambicans mm. is that they don't know why. Mm. We're treating them this way, uh, mm. uh, given the xenophobic attacks. So, uh, mm. I would like to see some talks towards uh, the direction. Well, what I also heard in the few hours that I've been here is the feedback that comes from other Mozambicans that they appreciate the promptness in which the South, which, which way that the South African government responded to this. Uh, secondly, that President Zuma was given an opportunity at the last uh, extraordinary uh, summit that focused on industrialization and beneficiation of our natural resources in the region in Harare to share information about this uh, unfortunate uh, uh, incidents. Uh, of uh, uh, some bordering on criminality that took place uh, in South Africa, of just people taking advantage of uh, disagreements uh, here and there. I think this visit reaffirms, as I said earlier on, the partnership, but also that just that we are just but one family. The message uh, we'll be carrying with President Zuma here is that we are one people, we are one family. Apartheid and colonization could not divide us. We should not allow uh, this kind of uh, uh, incidences to take us, to derail us. We 
had uh, apologized. We have taken ownership of government prov providing leadership in South Africa and strengthening our historical, our socio-cultural uh, ties between the people of uh, Mozambique and South Africa and the continent of Africa at large. Uh, about a week ago, a journalist in our, uh, who came to our press uh, briefing uh, asked us whether this doesn't have elements of tribalism. I said, well, uh, my name is Maite Mkwana Mashaban. I'm married to the Mashabanis, who are great-grand-grandchildren of Ngumunyan, who a, was a Mozambican chief. So if, if I were to practice xenophobia and tribalism, I must start in my own household. Uh, I, I speak Shangan because it's the language of my in-laws. I understand uh, other languages spoken in Mozambique because I was born in Limpopo. These borders we have are artificial. We need to work together to strengthen our social cultural ties, our political interaction, but also our economic integration. Has this kind of uh, ads, Minister, not um, affected perhaps, uh, I would say, trade or movement of people between the two countries? Or maybe it's too easy to, 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 to go that route? We should go the positive route. We have defeated colonialism and apartheid. Things were much tougher. If this visit also says our leaders do not want us to be derailed. They want us to focus on building this integration of our people, of our economies. If indeed we were feeling uh, that they really, you know, we, we are throwing our arms up in the air, we don't know what to do with this, we wouldn't be having this kind of interactions. This is a stamp of approval to our historic ties and relations. And we use these visas to call on our people to remember where we come from, but also to remember that we are stronger when we are united and we do things together. I also want to remind you that majority of people of Mozambican origin who live in South Africa are still in South Africa as you and I are sitting here. There was no mass movement of, or you know, expatriation of Mozambicans back to, from South Africa to Mozambique. South African government gave them the reassurance. South African government pr gave uh, protection. South African government continues with Operation Fiela to check corners that can become potential to, you know, uh, you know once again undermine the good efforts that we, we have of building economies and build good relations, but also provide a secure environment for ordinary people who live in South Africa. Citizens, permanent residents, visitors, to not only feel but be safe. This is the responsibility of a government in any other democracy. So in short, mm -hmm. our economic relations can only go strong from here. Very much so. We are saying at this time when we are facing new challenges uh, globally, we need to strengthen relations in our own neighborhood. We've got a binational commission at the presidential level. We meet almost annually at leadership level between South Africa and, uh, and Mozambique. We want to continue building peace security and development with our people, for our people, using these channels. South Africa can never feel fully safe if we do not work together to protect our shores, to protect uh, our neighborhood, for us to be able to have our economies uh, thriving and our people indeed joining the Uhuru song. So for us, we say, this visit gives us another opportunity to look at new opportunities 
that we would refer to as game changers, that takes us to another level of our historic and socio-economic uh, partnerships, uh, taking the region, our own neighborhood, forward in development.